think he's going with that snow blower, but he's having a lot of fun with it. Hi, Storm. Who's a good girl? Who's a good girl? Are you such a good girl, Storm? Oh, yes, you're such a good girl. Oh, it's my baby. Oh, it's my baby. Yes. Uh, who's a good girl? Yes. Oh, my girl, my girl. Yes. You want to go for a walk? Huh? All right, you guys. Here's the lowdown. The other day, I was coming in from the swamp. I've been out walking the fox and I just fell into the water, literally up to my waist. I mean, I was soaked. And of course, what do I see? Frankie playing with power tools. And every time he plays with power tools, makes me want to play with power tools. So I grabbed the cameras and I came out and we started to go through some of these snow blowers and we hooked up the Gravely QXT. It's down here, you guys. We had not ran this gravely in over a year because we just plain and simply didn't have to. It was frozen in its place. We didn't know if it was gonna start. We had left the snow plow on it and uh, we couldn't even get the snow plow to separate from it. So finally we, we pulled that thing apart. We hook up the snow blower to this beast of a unit and fire it up for the first time. And we're gonna show you what happens with this thing today. Okay, so what are we waiting for? Let's start having some fun in the snow. As I'm walking in from just falling through the swamp, this is what I see. Frankie going to town with the track snowblower. Crap, that thing throws snow. Now this is Re Aaron's residential homeowner special and it's a track snowblower, but those tracks flip up and convert to wheels with just one single lever. It's actually pretty clever and powerful. So now this one is um, got a battery start, right? Yep. So you just push a button. And the Pro QXT, this is actually, they consider this a tool carrying a tractor, a walk behind tractor. So this happened to be the first time we fired this thing up in a long time, so I was surprised at how well she popped off. Oh, you think you gotta have it in? Um, that's a, it sounds like that's the safety switch. No, that was the, the, the where it should kick in more, more speed. The Isn't there a, a kill switch though, that if you don't have the I'm throttle, you did you have the, th so when you go to hit the throttle, this has to, right there, that, that was the problem. See that? Okay. So that has to line up with that. And when you hit that, then she'll then when go. You let go of this, that's when it should stop. Well, let's try that. Let's okay. just see. Let's see if that was it. I, I don't know. Maybe I'm totally wrong. So we've already got the snow plow hooked up and well we might as well see how she can do. First we're going to straight blade it and then we decide to power angle it and see if it goes any better.
saying, I bet if it was pavement, it would be perfect. If, it could, if the tires could bite. Yeah, because you're a knife. Right. That's, that is like a nice rink right. underneath there. So if the tires would bite. And I could, I could probably push my blade off to one side too. And instead of stay pushing in, you know? Yeah. That would make a big difference, wouldn't it? Good. One thing about this unit, it's just got plenty of power. I mean, it will overpower a guy, so you can't just go putting a beginner on it and expecting them to be okay. up the snow blower is a little easier said than done since it hasn't been used since last year and it's frozen solid ice but let's see how that goes okay well since we haven't ran this pro qxt in a long time the actual snow blade was froze onto the motor so it took a little bit of uh, finagling to get her to separate so that's a standard pto hitch it can be a little sticky because there's not a lot of weight to either side of it. So, so as you guys, yeah, I have a GoPro on my head. So as you guys, why do I have a GoPro on my head, you may ask? That's something I'd be asking. I'm not going to answer that for you. So, so it's a standard P... <laughs> Sorry, I think there's some crap I think is just funny. It's a standard PTO hitch. So. And because the front unit doesn't weigh a lot and the back unit doesn't weigh a lot, they don't want to tend to separate. You're not supposed to use the tire. That's the way a home kid does it. Even though he's a 59 year old home kid. Right, hey, Franicky, I'm going to grab the front and you just grab the back and we'll pull them apart. I'm, yeah, I'm going to set this. rain and everything's froze. Door handles are froze. Everything. That's what's going on here. Yeah, that's not good. Yeah, that. We need to hammer it. All right, you guys. Not all things look the way that you think they would be. See this big lawn? This big lawnmower snowblower in the front. It looks like it's built like a tank, and it is. But believe it or not, that's a residential unit. The one behind it, smaller one, is actually a commercial single stage blower. That one is designed for sidewalk crews to throw in the back of their pickup truck, take out to a site, 
and to, to uh, grab and go. Frankie, that's your go-to one, isn't it? That little one. Yeah, what do you think of that thing? I like it. I like it because the more, I mean, I can, I can clean them sidewalks right up. There ain't nothing, nothing to sweep off or shovel off when you're done. So it gets, it's got a paddle and that paddle's like a leather paddle would you can would you call that leather or rubber uh, i suppose yeah some it's a, it's a softer you know it doesn't get super hard and like a mat like a like a snowmobile track mat you know? and that's replaceable so yep. that's a wear component and it's a single stage so literally it just has one stage so as that paddle goes around it brings the snow up into the chute and tosses it out. This it'll, is a dual. I'm sorry. Go ahead, Frankie. It'll make me run behind it. It'll make you. Yeah, yeah. It's got. It's fast. So it's self-propelled, yep. right? Yep. And also, it's got this handlebar behind it. Is designed to let you put that onto the tailgate of your truck and to leverage it up, so one guy can technically get it in and out by himself. Yeah, and there's you, a handle like right here. Right here. Well, I grab it here. I mean, the, that's the chute. The chute, but yeah, it's nice and easy. I can lift it right up, right into the back of my truck. And it's got enough power for the size of it to toss snow pretty darn good. <laughs> yeah, it does. We've done it. Now, this one is not a commercial unit, even though it looks like it's a commercial unit. And we use this beast around here, especially with the amount of snow that we've got. There you go. It tosses snow. It's a shooter, yeah. So some of the nice features that Aaron builds into these things, you guys, everything that's important is outlined in red and yellow. Every, I mean, it's just so, so nicely laid out. You know exactly what's going on. Here's a control pattern. Hey, Frankie's this got heat? The, yeah, there's heated pads, uh, hand grips. Holy crap. Yep, my hands don't get warm or cold on that. Are you kidding me? No, they work nice. They actually, they'll get warm. They get, I mean, like super warm. Well, I use them all the time. Really? Yeah. Now you brought this beast up north and plowed. Now you had a ton of snow up there, but you had a whole year's worth of snow and you took it up there. How did this thing perform? I, I couldn't ask for anything better. I mean, it went, it went, they cleaned up my yard really nice, except where the people ran, oh, drove over constantly. But it had, what, four snowings, four snowfalls that I cleaned up at one time. And those snowfalls were six six to ten inches yeah at once and yeah. this is what you brought up north because this one could not handle that no no i would no. have been there i'd still be there so this thing has got all the power you need but they consider this a residential not a commercial unit and if you want to know why i don't know why you'd have to ask aaron's why i'm just pointing out the differences now we're going to dig out what they consider to be this this thing that we're digging out is the beast of snowblowers We've got another one that we haven't used fired up yet this year in here. Yeah. And this is the one we used extensively last year. Now, does this one have a, a hand warmer on it? It does not. No. And this is not a commercial that grade. That good, except it doesn't clean the sidewalks right down to the side. It leaves a dusting, so I had to go back and shovel that off. But no big deal. Okay, so, so this one, um, we haven't retired it. We just haven't had a need for it. But this is another Aaron's snowblower. So as you guys can tell, we use a lot of Aaron's snowblowers in what we do. Well, that's because they make good units. I mean, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Right, Frankie? But the Gravely, which is actually kind of like a, the Aaron's commercial line. If we can get this thing fired up, you guys, this Gravely is insane. This Gravely, I say, will blow snow as far as a uh, snowblower on a skid loader almost. Yeah. I mean, it, it's nuts. But she's froze in because we just haven't had, had a need for it. That's always good. Still froze tight, Frankie. She's loosening up though, I'll help you with that. Oh, you okay? Yep, there you get me. I 
knew it eventually hit my face. I knew it. Uh, I got my fingers. I hit myself right in the face with the snowblower, but I couldn't feel it. I'm so cold. So that's the teeth of the PTL. So that's what she looks like inside there. I think we can hook her up. Is that clean in there? Yeah. So the Gravely Pro QXT is a battery powered start. We should probably hook the whole thing up so these guys can see how she hooks up. Now this is the model that your commercial lawn mowing companies are going to be using, you guys. In fact, there's a local company out here that has a couple hundred of these things that they use. Why is that rubbing on the tire? Did I, did I bend that bar? I wonder if I bent that bar. And then flip the safety lever over and bring it back up. Yeah, if I can. It won't flip over. Because uh -uh. uh, I'm all the way down. But what the heck? Boy, yeah. oh, it's so cold. Let's see. What is going on with that part of it? Okay, so the bar comes off the top. That's a storage place. Goes through there. And that's how you control. Hopefully the pin is still in there. Yep, safety pin's in. Um, now you gotta... Yeah. Oh, you pop that out? Okay. Pop that safety pin out, line that up. Hook your cotter key in. Boom, bada bing, bada boom. Bada bing, bada boom. Okay, no. That's hooked. This one. Now this is the chute. That goes to there. That goes to here. So we gotta go to here. What is that one for? This might be for the lawnmower. I think that's yeah. That engages the engages the lawnmower. So this is gonna take back up, I believe. Oh, there we 
whatever. Uh, now these have clips. Oh, okay. So these clips. Yeah, it can go to the. Okay, so. So now get ready. This is my up and down. This thing is insane. Oh. Uh, well, it don't really matter where I go. I'm going to probably go in there and then take something fresh. I'll go in, I'll go in there and then kind of go down. Uh, I'm going to stick a GoPro on your head. You cool with that? I'm cool with it. All right. Frankie's going with that snow blower, but he's having a lot of fun with it. He's in the swamp, blowing snow. Can you guys even see him? There he is. There's Frankie. Fun. Dude, he's out in the swamp blowing snow. I think he wants to see if the bravely can handle it. Doesn't look like it's having any problems with it. Yeah, he's going off roading with a snow blower. He bit off more than he can chew.
halfway up the tree. Frankie keeps going, I'm gonna have trails all over my property. There's not gonna be any snow left on my property. He's gonna blow it all off. Frankie loves toys like that. Let's go find out what he thinks of it. That wore me out. <laughs> <laughs> you, you went off-roading with a snowblower, dude. Yeah, same place you went with a Jeep. <laughs> Have you ever been, I mean, that thing can just go. It just goes by itself. Yeah, the more weight that you, that you can put down on the handles, the better it bites. So if it had better... If it had a 200-pound guy pushing it, it would have had no problems going through it. And if it had deeper tread tires. Or, or chains. You could have a chain, set of chains put on it. Yep. But... Although I've never gone through that before, I mean, I've, I think it went pretty good. Yeah, that's the only snowblower I've ever seen and actually A lot go. of that stuff has been plowed, you know. You plowed that one time into it, you know. That's why I had such a hard time coming out. Oh, because it was compacted? Yeah. That's a heavy unit, but holy cow, she can go through just about anything you can... I think anything Mother Nature can throw at it, I'm going to guess. Yeah. I, I think that thing can do it. So. Yeah, so it comes with a push plow, a broom, the brush hog, the, the mower, the mower, and the final mower, the, or the, the the final mower, the brush hog, the the snow blower, and the push so plow. Two mowers for it? Yeah, two mowers, brush yeah. hog and the final mower. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah, the brush hog. Yep. Yeah. And so that's part of the Aaron's. Well, it's not technically the Aaron's family, but it's the same people. So. There you go, you guys. We had a little bit of fun in the snow today. Uh, Frankie had a little bit more fun than I did. I fell in the swamp earlier, but my feet are froze. I'm gonna head in. Hope this video, you had some fun, enjoyed it. You let me know in the comments down below. God bless you guys. Go get them and watch these other two videos right here. And I will see you guys later.